Week one of the JLT Community Series and teams are still feeling their way into the season. Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Cometti. With me is a legend of the game, Matthew Richardson. Hey Dennis, tonight should be a really special game. Both these clubs will be wanting to take winning form into the season proper with a chance to play in a grand final. What more incentive do you need? The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to watch. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to watch. We have the toss of the coin. Hawthorne win the toss. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. Here we go. It's the Hawks versus the Cats. Sicily with the football. He has a mighty kick of the footy. Takes that one strongly. Henderson sends the ball on its way. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Dangerfield kicks it. Duncan got under it. Hodge is able to grab it on the half volley. Hits the running man. Ball up in the center square. Guided by Smith. Duncan soccers it. He gets his hands on the footy. How has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. He clears the ball. Gets the loose ball. Selwood gets the loose ball. Interception. Burgoyne just hoping for the best. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. Hand passes to the running man. Taylor gets the bouncing ball. Dangerfield with the kick. He gets the upper hand. Amara with the kick. A great effort. Collar Jasny with the torpedo. Almost a mark but it bounces off his chest. Border Control will be keen to look at this trafficking. In the end, it wasn't enough to keep the ball in. Well, he tried and he failed. We'll have a throw in. Punched by McAvoy. Gathers the ball. Sweeping handball. He picks it up. Minangola with the ball. Low kick. Nice contested mark by Motlop. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. A 45 degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. Both teams looking heavily sedated out there. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. 30 meters out. Geelong by a point. A kick to himself and play on by Trulli. Bounces favorably for Smith. Shields picks it up, gives it to Virchel, slams it on the boot. It was all his. Mitchell slams it on the boot. The ball goes over the boundary in the pocket. There we go again. Smith not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leap out of the karate kid and sweep the knee. Punishing kick from Taylor. A chance for both teams to set up as the ball crosses the line. Gets boot to leather. The ball spills to Hawkins. Mitchell picks up the loose ball. Mitchell with the inside 50. Only 60 seconds remaining. Ruffhead getting into position for the kick. 30 minutes from half. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't swap this one through. Hawthorne with a chance to take the lead if this one sails through. The first goal of the match. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. 
McAvoy. He's got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. He gets it under pressure. He boots it. Picked up under pressure. Intercepted. Menzel suckers it. He's like he's on a tightrope at the moment. Look at that fancy footwork. Gregson. Eat that, he says. Great goal. Gregson getting his first right there. Hawkins, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. Chips it down towards half forward. Gunston picks up the loose ball. Puopolo, they have no idea how you managed to get that out. He kicks it. Hawthorne get back on top again. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Punch by McAvoy. Richo, your thoughts on the first quarter? They have been pretty wasteful in this match and if they lose, they will look back and rue the missed opportunities. We'll have a look at the stats. The Cats with 17 kicks and the Hawks with 10 kicks. Not much in it. Thanks for sharing that with us, Richo. And we're back for the second turn. There are only two options regarding commitment. You're either in or out. There is no such thing as footy in between. Now we've got a ball up. McAvoy with the mighty fist. Sicily collects. Roost runs past and gets the ball. Roost lines it up. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. The kick spins off in the wrong direction. Looks like he forgot to practice his kicking during the week. Ball crosses the boundary. That's a piercing kick from Henderson. He steadies now in front of goal. Roost thumps the ball for goal. Roost did well then. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Roost may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. McAvoy with the hit. Bounces favorably for Sicily. Choose to kick it. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. The dominance we're seeing from the Hawks at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside forward 50. Concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. He claims the ball. He boots it. Just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. Rioli kicks for goal. Sicily goes for goal. Collar Jasny collects it. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. A stab kick from Henderson. Tui is able to grab it on the half volley. The spill ball is collected. Puopolo with a chance if he keeps a cool head. 45 metres out. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Mistimes the kick. He holds his breath. He's missed the lot. Out of bounds. Dangerous spot near the goal. Henderson kicks hard along the boundary line. Well, Geelong haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Blixas kicks it, and the ball is out of play. Powell puts his boot on it. Good mark. Tui puts it on the boot. Strong mark. That's a massive kick. The ball over the line. The ball going back to the players right now. Palms it down nicely. Tui looking like a Manchester United player. McAvoy dishes it off by hand. Dangerfield picks it up. Free going the way of Omara. A talk from Omara. Nice mark under pressure. Sends it on its way. Hastily kicked. Duncan feeling the pressure gets the quick kick away. The clock ticks down with only 90 seconds left. The loose ball picked up by Gibson. He's a long kick. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Would you back him in from here, Richo? It's just too far out for him, Dan. Has it got the carry? Ruffhead looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. The opportunity served up on a silver platter. He can't miss from here. A goal for the Hawks. Hawthorne by three yards. 
Rough head, has a lot of passion for this game. You can see it every time he steps onto the field. He's an inspiration to all players around him. Duray is streaming past and gets the footy. McAvoy runs in, going for goal number one. Kick that straight into the behind post, out on the full. Rattled the woodwork on the full. Free kick. Punched by McAvoy. Lucky Barnes collected. Dangerfield plays a hard tackle and forces the ball to spill out. Scoops up the ball. Selwood finds his man on the move. Lonigan collects it. Lonigan slams it on the boot. That kick was asking a bit much of Cocker too. Unfortunately, placed ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Collar Jasny needs to work on his vertical leap because at times he can be found wanting when he's leaping for the ball. Selwood looking for distance. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. Cocker too puts his boot on it. That's a nice strong mark. Works it across the ground. Great mark. Bumps the pigskin. Over the top of the pack. Gets boot to high. Strong mark by Tui. So half time and Richo, what are your thoughts on the first half? The important thing is to keep your noses in front. But I get the feeling the Hawks may be fighting to stay there in the second half. What do the stats look like, Richo? Not much difference between the way these two teams are kicking. Both fairly even on 37 and 25. Thanks, Richo. Second half is underway. Do not let what you can do interfere with what you can do. Guided by Trulli, Taylor gets a nice bump from Sicily. Intercept by Burgoyne. Selwood will take the free after the ball was thrown. Selwood feeds it wide. Smith marks. A lovely drop pass. Wins the hard ball. Stanley in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. 45 metres out. Kicked the goal by Stanley. Pinpoint accuracy from Stanley. That's his first. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Tapped by Trulli. Sicily picks up the bouncing ball. Oh, he's given that to up an almighty thump. He wins the contest. The Cats haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Taylor boots it. Smith takes a contested mark. He boots it. Howe with good strong hands. A lovely drop punt. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Choose to kick it. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Smith slams it on the boot. Wins the hard ball. Dangerfield kicks the ball. Meningola misses the ball. He picks up the loose ball. Dishes it off to the running player. Now we've got a ball up. Smith outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. Burgoyne doesn't have the quickest first step, but he uses his nous to break away from his opponents. And now we'll have a ball up. Punch by Smith. Controlled by Burgoyne. They've conceded possession. Selwood lays it off to the running man. Handballs. Nice drop punt. He has no trouble grabbing that one. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. But Geelong forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Interception. Hawkins whacks one on the boot for goal. He can't close the deal and it's a point. Frawley decides to play on. That's a massive kick. A favourable bounce. Mackey comes away with the ball. Hits the running man. He's like he's on a tightrope at the moment. Look at that fancy footwork. Hodge with the pickup. He lays off the pass. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Guthrie on the ball at the moment. Strong mark. Kick by Gibson. Selwood takes the mark. Selwood is an intelligent footballer and I love watching him. He is great at dragging his opponent over to a one-on-one -on -one and creating ineffective two-on-one -on -one situations. Selwood puts his boot on it. The ball is out of bounds. Huge leap. The ball is socket. Hard time. Doesn't waste that opportunity. It's a ball up. 
Hawkins with the first touch. Murdoch gets it on the bounce. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. Gets the loose ball. Good mark on the run. It's a beautiful angle right where you need it. Gregson, that's his second. The Cats have scored the last two goals. If you want to be a hero, now is the time to put your hand up. McAvoy gets onto the ball. Scoops up the bouncing ball. He gets his hands on the footy. Bumps the pigskin. Advantage, says the umpire. Murdoch. He's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Stratton gets possession. We'll get a throw in. A good fist. Birchall picks up the ball. He takes possession. McAvoy mops up the ball. Hawkins gets the loose ball. The ball's up. Oh, that's a goal for nine points. The Cats get back in the lead again. There's the siren for the end of the third quarter. The scores at the Cats 29 to the Hawks 25. They have been pretty wasteful in this match, and if they lose, they will look back and rue the missed opportunities. Richo, how well are these teams performing? The handball stats show that the two teams are fairly even, with the Cats on 23 and Hawthorne on 21. The Cats and Hawthorne are very level on the possession count, which reflects the evenness of this contest. Hadn't thought of it quite like that, Richard. One quarter to play. Never give up. Failure and rejection are only the first step to succeeding. Gives it to the running man. Tui racking up the possessions. Selwood gathers it. Smith runs past and gets the ball. The ball is socket. He hand passes the ball. Stanley has had plenty of it, Richard. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. A lot of possessions for him. Passed by Dangerfield. Smith has his head down now. It's in the air. Oh, tough break. Geelong in front. Frawley has got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. Burgoyne gets the intercept. He gets boot to the ball. Smith kicks the ball. Blixars with good strong hands. Choose to kick it. The loose ball picked up, slams it on the boot. Marked by Selwood. Kicks. Marks. Jams it on the boot. His mistake costs him a possession. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. McAvoy has the ball. Hodge has had plenty of it, Richo. Well, Dennis, I just think he's having fun with them now. He's really a ball magnet. Hodge just gets it through. Less than one goal in this match, the Hawks are still very much in it. Smith directs it down. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Cleanly picked up. He gets tackled as he hands it off. McAvoy sends the ball on its way. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Taylor sends one up towards the wing. Selwood claims it. A desperate kick there. A mark by Guthrie. Ops for the short kick. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Handball finds Burgoyne. Rioli has seen plenty of the footy. Murdoch sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Great grab. Stanley told me recently that he really loves playing for this club and you can really see it in his attitude on the field. I think he's going to play for this club for a long, long time. We're at the 92nd mark. Geelong lead. McAvoy outstretches his opponent to win the right. Gains possession. Intercepted. Booted by Gibson. A good mark under the circumstances. What do you think, Richo? Can he make this one? It's just too far out for him, Dan. Gunston holds his breath like David Blaine as he watches this one. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. One down by Hawkins. Amarit with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Marks. Sends it on its way. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Motlock really wears his heart on his sleeve. McAvoy takes the mark. He completely mistimes the kick. Dangerfield with the ball. Puts boot to ball. Kept his composure then. Bumps the pigskin. Hawkins with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. 
He has the ball. Hand pass by Hodge. Mitchell going for number one. It's shaved the post. Hawthorne is down by less than a kick. He wins the contest. It's a beautiful angle right where you need it. He takes the shot. It's going. Bruce. That's two now. He's playing well. The Hawks take the lead. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Hawkins is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate McAvoy. Selwood picks up the bouncing ball. Dangerfield bumped off the ball. Shields bursting with inventive strategy right now to be sure of hitting the target. He's actually kicking first and calling whatever it hits the target. Gathers the ball, gets the ball free. Going for goal number one. He had perfect control over the ball right up until the minute he kicked it. What a great start to the football year for Hawthorne. Ah, the Hawthorne fans are absolutely loving this victory and I bet the Hawks can expect a sharp rise in membership sales after a victory like that. Well, they looked great on paper before the game, but as they say, paper teams win paper cuts. Final scores are 45 to 42. It's all said and done, it's real and it's been fun. Come on, may you find a spot.